very briefly we looked at angles in our previous session let's look at it in more detail an angle is formed when there are two rays starting from a common end point so this is the point from here you have one ray and another ray so now an angle is formed now the rays are called arms or sides of the angle common end point is called the vertex so a b c so angle is formed at b at the vertex so we can refer to this angle using this symbol angle b we can also refer to it by saying angle a b c now remember the vertex will always be in the middle now it might happen that there are more than two rays from a common end point a b c d now in such a scenario we need to be very careful when we are naming the angles because now here you have four angles one two three and four right so how do you refer to them now here angle b means angle a b d now which a b d whether this one or this one so normally the smaller angle so here a b d will refer to this one and not to this one then angle a b c refers to this one and angle c b d refers to this one so which means by looking at it itself i am sure you are able to make out that angle a b d is equal to angle a b c plus angle c b d yes so a complete circle let's say we have one ray here if we take it let me make it a little bit smaller so let's take this one complete rotation right so in that case we say that it has covered 360 degrees so if both the rays of the angle lie one on top of the other then we say the angle is it's tricky why because it can be zero degree or it might have covered the entire circle it might have rotated fully so in which case it would be 360 degree why 360 degree remember here what we mean is that a circle is made up of 360 degrees or it is divided into 360 units that unit is called degree so now why should it be 360 degree why can't be something else because most of our metric system is based on powers of 10 okay let's look at it like this see this was uh, historically uh, known to babylonians they came out with these concepts they knew that the entire year is equal to 365 days so they just went with it they said okay there are 365 days so let's have 365 degrees in a complete cycle but this creates a problem they wanted to keep the calculations simple so to keep the cap calculations simple they rounded it so they had a choice 370 or 360 and these two choices they had now again remember the idea is to keep the calculations simple more the number of numbers with which 370 can be divided 
or 360 can be divided the better it is right or in other words factors should be more right larger the factors easier the calculations so let's look at the factors of 370 so factors are 1 2 5 10 370 that is 37 times 10 74 185 and 370 okay let's look at 360 now the factors are 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 12 15 18 20 24 30 36 40 45 60 72 90 120 180 and 360 now since babylonians existed around 4000 years back we can never be sure but because of the above reason the choice has been really good okay so let's look at this again so complete cycle or in other words complete angle is equal to 360 degree half angle remember this is one top of the other this is complete angle so half angle would be what when it is this right so this is half angle or it's also called as a straight angle is equal to 180 degree then you have quarter angle or right angle so here the keywords are right angle straight angle complete angle this is equal to 90 degree remember if you divide this by 2 you get half angle or straight angle if you divide this by 2 we get right angle now when the angle we say measure of angle is less than 90 degree then we call it as an acute angle when the measure of the angle is equal to 90 degree we say it is a right angle when the measure of the angle is equal to no not equal to greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree then it is called an obtuse angle so acute angle is this right angle is this by the way right angle has a special symbol right if we when we mark an angle we use a curve but when we mark a right angle we use a we make the corner as a rectangle and the obtuse angle if the measure of the angle is greater than 180 degree remember not equal equal means it is a straight angle so if it is greater than 180 degree then it is called a reflex angle so that would be something like this let's look at some angles which are very very important 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree 120 degree 135 degree 150 degree 180 degree yes so 180 degree would be a straight line 90 degree would be this then 1 no 210 
टू टेन डिग्री टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री टू टू फोर्टी डिग्री टू सेवेंटी डिग्री देन थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री थ्री फिफ्टीन डिग्री थ्री थर्टी डिग्री एंड वी बैक टू द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट विथ थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री now that we know a little bit more about angles remember when we were talking of triangles we saw that based on sides the triangles are divided into equilateral triangle isosceles triangle and scalene triangle equilateral means all the sides are equal isosceles means two sides are equal and scalene is when none of the sides are equal okay now based on angles triangles can be classified into acute angled triangle acute angled that means all the angles are less than 90 degree right angled triangle that means one of the angles is 90 degree and obtuse angled triangle so here one of the angles is greater than 90 degree okay another uh, thing is remember intersecting lines when two lines intersect each other and make a angle of 90 degree the lines are called perpendicular yes so here if we name this as l and this as m then we say l is perpendicular the symbol for perpendicular is this l is perpendicular to m we can also say m is perpendicular to l i think that's enough for today bye for now